you doing? This is Mike Anthony. I'm making this video especially for Alan. Now, I talked to Alan yesterday, Monday. We, we text each other. And Alan accused me of slandering his name. And I'm a man. If I said anything wrong against a person and it was a lie, I'm man enough to apologize. That's the reason why I'm making this video. Because I'm man enough to say when I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm man enough to say it. Now, Alan, you said you sold 65 units worth $5 million. Okay, here's the article right here. 18 months. I'm going to show it to you. 18 months, you stated that you sold $5 million worth of property in 18 months. Now, in another article, this comes from your page, you stated you sold, in 14 months, you sold $3 million. That was worth a property. And 50 units. Wait a minute, Alan. Something ain't right. You said 18 months, you sold 65 units. Then you wrote another article saying, in 14 months, you wrote, you sold 50 units. But $3 million worth of property. Something ain't right. I'm not saying you lying, Alan, but something ain't right. Something not right. Now, on here, it states that your team members, you and your team members, sold 60 units. That's not 65 units. That's 60 units. Ooh, something ain't right. Now, right here, and Zillow, they, they only said in 12 months you sold 44 units in 12 months, right here. Something ain't right. You said 65, you said 50, somebody else said 44. Then they said your um, team members sold 60. You didn't mention them, you said you sold 65. You didn't say me and team members. You said yourself. I'm not saying you lying, but somebody not telling the truth. Okay, now let me go to my next. Okay. Right here, you state that you worked for Keller for two years. The real estate company for two years. Right here. For two years. So that means Four months, you didn't do nothing because you said you only sold $5 million worth of property within 18 months. You didn't mention it two years. But here, you said you started in March 2016 and you worked up to April 2017. Wait, that's not two years, man. Wait a minute. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody lying. Somebody's lying. You said I was lying on you. And I called you a big, I said you you the biggest liar in real estate. Now somebody lying in, the, in that paperwork. I don't know if it's me or if it's somebody else, but somebody lying on you, Alan. Now if you notice, this is the document I sent you where it says you can't mislead nobody because it's a federal estate. You know, you break the state and federal law if you do mislead people. I, I, I sent you that yesterday. An agent can't lie. Mislead customers and consumers. They can't do that. But uh, and then... I send you this also, false testimony. I know I, I wrote some false testimony about the situation. You know, I, I try to build you up to be something 
that you wasn't. I know I did this. Now, I'm assuming your other friends did the same thing. But, um, no, somebody lying on you. Somebody lying. It's not you, Alan. Somebody lying. Somebody's not telling the truth. It's not you, though. Whatever you said out your mouth is true. Somebody's lying on you, but it's not you lying. Now, you told me when we was in prison, you told me that your mother and grandmother got you a grant for $20,000 to start your clothing business, your t-shirt business. Now, when you was on the radio, you said that you bought candy with the $50 that the state gave you. And you sold that candy over Morgan. Now, you must have sold a lot of candy because you started your, your, your um, T-shirt company. So you must have sold a lot of candy. But I believe you, Adam. Now, you also said on a report you know, at the interview, you said that you was broke when you had the t-shirt t-shirt company. Now you told me, Alan, that you had some million dollar contracts lined up. Somebody not telling the truth here, but I know you tell the truth. It was me, Alan. I just didn't hear you right. It's my fault. I apologize. I didn't hear it right. I apologize to you. It was my fault, Alan. Now, we know that I sent you a message saying we can meet today, but you blocked me. I told you in that message, my check for one day will stop you from doing real estate. That's what I said. But I know I misunderstood. We didn't post to meet today. You said you was going to block me. And we didn't We didn't agree to meet. That was my fault. I misunderstood. <laughs> Sorry about that, Al. It's my fault. Now, this is the challenge that I want to make. I'm sending it out to you. This is my challenge to you. What the next house that you sell, I would like for you to put that up against the money that I make. Now, I don't care how long it takes for you to sell a house. Whatever your commission is, I want to see that check. If my money is greater than that, then I want you to agree to put up a, a wager. Now, I, I like to put up five grand, if, if that's okay with you. Then if you want to go a little higher, we can do that too. But it's up to you now. Now, my lawyer has agreed to hold the money for us. Because I don't want no funny stuff out. I don't want you lying to me, and I don't want to lie to you. So I like for him to hold the money. So whenever you sell your next property, whatever your commission is, if it's greater than whatever I earn from that period of time until you sell that house, then you can have my money. But if you, if your, if your commission is lower than what I earn from my business, then I get to keep your money. Is that okay? Because I know you're a baller, Al. You're going to make a million. You can you probably sell uh, $10 million worth of houses within a month's time or probably a week, whatever. You know, I know you. you, you you're you a hustler. You're, you're grinding. You're grinding or you're lying. One or the other. Now, if you lie, you're not going to take this. You're not going to accept this challenge. But if you tell the truth, you accept it. And you bring that money to my lawyer. It's up to you. Now, unblock your number so we can negotiate. We can sign some documents 
at the lawyer's office. And if you lose, I get to keep your money. If I lose, you get to keep my money. Come on. Like I said, I already showed you some things some people lied on you. It's the people lying on you or you lying to the public. One or the other. I don't know who it is. I, I don't know if you lying or the people lying. Somebody lying in these motherfucking reports. This is Mike Anthony. I'm out of here. And stop. Hey, and don't block your number, boy. You ain't lying to nobody. So why you got to be blocking your number? Why, why you got to block me if you wasn't lying, Al? I'm not saying you're lying, but I got these reports from your websites. These reports came from your websites. So anybody can research you and pull them up. And find out the truth. If I'm lying on you, or you just lying to the public. Like I told you before, it says state and federal offense. You lie, you're gonna lose your license. You can't mislead the public. I showed you that document. I send it to you. Now it's up to you to take that stuff down. And stop lying to the public. I'm just trying to be a friend. All right, take care.